Welcome back. It's time for Spoof Cinema to make an entry into EFI. Now Maligaon ka Superman, Gabbar by MBBS and many such characters will feature in the film festival. Have a look at our local Superman and Maligaon's Gabbar. You will have a chance to meet this Indian and to be precise, Malegao Superman in this year's IFI. Spoof cinema comprises of the films that mock popular cinema. I love you. I love you too, Radha. During the 10 days festival, 200 films from India and abroad are showcased and the small budget movies will find a place in the list. The movies which were appreciated and criticized in small gullies and villages will now be presented at the 40th International Film Festival of India. <laughs> Bureau Report Prudent Media Youth Congress in Madga organized a peace march giving a wide picture of their protest on the recent bomb blast in Madga. The peace rally illustrated that all Goans are united and will eliminate unwanted elements in the society in a peaceful manner. This peaceful march by the Goans was to urge for harmony in the state and to protest the deadly attack by Sanatan Sadaks. Chief Minister Digambar Kamar, Chairperson of Madga Municipality, Savio Kutino, Advocate Uday Bembre and many others participated in the rally. Digambar Kamar said that the peace march was to show unity among Goans. Youth Congress and the Prop Congress, they organized this peace march, basically a peace march. So the solidity of all the communities, what happened uh, on the eve of Diwali, to protest against that and to show that Goans are always one. And that is why you will find that there are more slogans in this peace month. Basically a candle process. Advocate Uday Bembre said that if some people want to destroy peace and harmony in the state, then these people should be eliminated from the society. <laughs> He also explained the aim of this peaceful candle march. A reporter in Madgaon, Ramesh Nai Proud. The annual Global Goan Convention will be held on 5th November in Mascot, Oman. Expatriate Goans from Gulf region and across the world will participate in this convention. The self-employment opportunities for NRGs and Kokni Vishwa Samelan would be the highlights of this convention. Every year, Global Goan Convention is held across the globe with the intention to bring Goan communities spread all over the world together. This event is organized by NRI Commission. This year, NRI Commission has introduced two new events to provide business opportunities for NRIs in Goa. We'll be 
a session on self-employment opportunities for uh, non-resident Goans. If they want to come back, what can they do here? What type of employment they can do? What type of business they can do? That will be addressed by our chairman of EDC, by Ms. Uh, who is Mr. Agnel Fernandez MLA, by Mr. Nitin Kunkoliankar, Konkni Vishwa Samelan. That is a global Konkni convention which for the first time also where expatriates, not just from Goa, but also from neighboring regions like Mangalore, Karwar and other, will participate. NRI Commissioner Edyard Filero said that the Union HRD Minister has responded positively to establish a Centre for Diaspora Studies at Goa University. The Centre for Diaspora will compile the detailed information of Indian migrations. In major universities in the world, there is a Centre for the Study of Emigration. We have done here, uh, these, for the first time in the history of Goa, a study on migration, Goan migration. But that is, has to be a continuous process and that has to be done by the university. And that is done in other countries, but in India we don't have. So I said, let us have it in Goa. And I mentioned this last week to, when I was in Delhi to Minister uh, Kapil Sibal. He was very receptive and he said, a very good idea and let us do it. Central government is also discussing the long pending demands of NRI with regard to granting voting rights to non-residential Indians. I spoke to Mr. Virapa Moili last week in Delhi. I mentioned this to him. He pointed out this problem to me and he also told me that he will try to find a solution as soon as possible and then the bill will go back to parliament for passing. A principal correspondent Murari Shete with video journalist Sunny Narvekar for Prudent Media. It's time for yet another short break. Stay tuned.